morning. Uh, today we're going to grow a, a, a tree called uh, Cassia fistula. Uh, in India it's called uh, Indian uh, laburnum. Uh, it's also known most, yeah, okay. It's also known commonly as golden showers now, but I'm not going to refer to it that often in this because people in the West would consider golden showers. Uh, we know what golden showers is, okay. Anyway, the first thing, I'm, these are the pods here. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, here's the pods here. There's one broken, there's a full size pod. Now inside them there's kind of a bitumen uh, like material. You can see it there. Uh, so I'm going. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wear gloves because, like some other trees, there's toxins in these and uh, they, they, they can cause allergies and things like that. So I just put on the gloves. Okay, I went over and I got a, a nutcracker. <laughs> I'm sure this will be better. That was slightly more, but this one probably get yeah, that cut in the nutcracker. They're a bit messy, they'll tar off them now, but we'll gather up about 30 seeds here and we'll wash the seeds. You can see the seeds inside the, can you see them inside the, like what looks like bitumen. Uh, this tar like surface is sticking to the gloves even here. We'll, we'll, we'll wash everything afterwards of course. Now that was one messy job to, to uh, I had to clean the gloves because everything is sticking. I think you could make glue out of this, but it wipes off with water. It's not. It's. it's uh, I got about 50 seeds from a half a pod, about a half a pod. Uh, all the mess stuff is back here, so I'll let you see the seeds in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash them. The reason I'm going to wash them is because I want to handle them uh, when I'm going to scarify them. So I'm putting warm water, not hot water. I'm going to wash them in the water. The reason we're washing, the main reason we're washing them, I want to hold them in my hand. It's very difficult to use gloves. Uh, this black stuff is everywhere. But it's water soluble because it washed off my gloves without even detergent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scarify seeds. I don't know, on my other channel I showed people how when you have hard seeds like pea seeds and, that, and you want to scarify them. I use a nail file. I use, I've broken my own rules now. I'm using sandpaper because the file was just, it was just too hard. Uh, much quicker. Uh, 100 grit. Something like that. Silicon paper. I just put cold water in on top of that. I'm using filtered water because we buy it by the drum here, so, so they probably float on top in the beginning. Yeah, they are. With cash out, they say if they're float on top, that means they're not going to be viable. But uh, I'm going to just leave them there now, and I'm going to put them inside. I thought they don't need light at this stage because uh, they're not. They're not uh, need light till they start to sprout out so if one sprouts out I will put them into soil uh, so okay now it's been four days since uh, since I saw the uh, steep the seeds in the water and clean them there seems to be little bits of buds coming out of some of them there so anyway I'm going to they look softened they've gone I put extra water in them a, a day afterwards because they were soaking up the water and it seems like what is coming out of them is buds coming out of them. I'm going to sow 10 of them here in these one gallons with, with Kira. See, down one quarter of an inch. Now Kira, you go and you water these ones here. Get your watering can. Okay. Now, Kira will water these ones, these four. Okay. Hold it properly. Now, here, hold it. No, it's your other hand. Mm -hmm. No, this way. Yeah. You know how to hold the water in town. Now, water them a little bit. Now, that's enough. Next one. This one? Mm, all four. Mm. Uh, go up and get more water, yeah? Go get more water. I don't know how long they'll take. Probably two weeks, less. And 
I'm uh, very confident. <laughs> no, I'm not very confident. Uh, out of the ten, if five of these come along, I'm going to be giving them away uh, in a fair uh, for people encouraging to grow trees. So. Uh, we're going to move them out of here because it gets too much sun here in the afternoon. So, uh, cut. It's five days now since we put the seeds into the soil, and of the ten of them, eight of them came up. Uh, here's the one that came up the first, I think, or this one, and down here, or maybe this one. Uh, these two have yet to come up, but the rest of them, these are more than one gallon, these uh, pots, I think they're one and a half gallon. Uh, because I want to leave them in this, I don't want to remove them. And then I will be giving these away at our uh, charity do in uh, July celebrations, encouraging people to grow trees in their house. It's been ten days since I put the seeds uh, into this, into these pots after the, after the steeping, so they're ten days old, uh, I think, when twenty one and yeah, ten days uh, or nine days. Uh, yeah, they came on fine. See where the old bit of the seed is left there. I sowed ten seeds in these ten pots and two of them didn't grow and eight did, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased enough with that. But uh, one of the boys here, they sowed twenty more seeds two days later and none of them grew. And these seeds were the same seeds that I had steeped, they were steeped for an extra two days. So I've come to the conclusion, well I'm not conclusion, but I'm pretty sure that the seeds were eaten by ants because there were so many ants. There's even ants in this. I think there was something in the in the coconut coir or something like that. Uh, but anyway, for the for the, these were the original ones I sold in the video, and uh, it's uh, uh, ten days. I'll give a, a special mention to the Facebook group uh, Filipina Gardeners who are in, some of them. They are very interested in growing these uh, trees around their house. Uh, so just to mention to you and if you like the video uh, can you uh, please subscribe to me up here somewhere